Undervolting your CPU is a very good idea. Not only can it help you keep the temperature under control, but can also, in some cases, increase the performance of your system. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to do that, one using the AMD software, one using the ASUS AI Trick software, and one done directly in the BIOS. Before we start undervolting, there's one thing you should do before. You need to update the chipset driver and BIOS for your motherboard. Here's a short tutorial on how to do it. First, visit your motherboard's manufacturer website and download the newest version of the chipset and BIOS. Chipset update is pretty easy to do, all you need to do is follow the wizard. When it comes to BIOS update, it's a bit more complex. Depending on your motherboard manufacturer, this part can look a bit differently. First, you'll need a pen drive. Extract the downloaded BIOS files onto the pen drive and use the rename tool to change the name of the file. After that is done, restart your PC with the pen drive still plugged into the USB port and enter BIOS, usually it's F2 or delete key. There go to Tools tab and ease flash utility. From the new menu choose the right drive which we just prepared and start the update process. Have in mind that any fan curves, RAM settings etc can be lost in the process. After the firmware is updated we can start undervolting. I'll start with what I think is the best way to approach this which is undervolting through BIOS. Previously not every motherboard allowed you to do that but right now I think most of them do. In order to do it, go to BIOS settings again. There, go to AI Tweaker or whatever it's called on your motherboard and look for Precision Boost Overdrive or PBO. You should see a tab called Curve Optimizer. Change the settings from Auto to All Cores and the value to negative and enter the expected value. In my case, the highest stable value was 30, but if you're not sure, try with 15 and then run some stability tests and if everything works fine, gradually increase that value. And that's it. Remember to save the settings when you're exiting the BIOS. The next way to do it is also pretty simple. You can use Ryzen Master Utility from AMD. Download it from the website, install and run it. When it's open, go to Advanced Mode and select Precision Boost Overdrive from the top line. Then go to All Core and set the CO All Core value to the value that you are sure is stable. For me, same as before, it was minus 30 on all cores. After that, apply the settings. Your PC might require a reboot for the changes to take place. Final way to do this is to use your motherboard's manufacturer dedicated app. For Asus, it's AISU3. Go to Asus website, download the app and install it. Just be aware that not every motherboard is supported by the application. After you install it, Launch it and enable PBO Tuner. This will require your PC to restart. After it restarts, the settings should already be applied and the undervolt should be working. I didn't find any way to change any settings for the undervolt. It comes from Asus software, so it's quite possible it automatically applies the best predicted settings. Overall, I don't mind as it seems to work just fine. Same way changing it in BIOS or using Ryzen Master works. There's also a fourth way to do it, which involves PBO2 tuner and setting everything manually, including changes in registry and auto start. I have a dedicated video on that on my channel. You'll find the link in the video description below. But honestly, I think the three ways I showed here are much less work and will do a good job. Here's some results I was able to see when undervolting the system. First of all, my CPU finally started boosting over 5 GHz and the temperatures became much more manageable. The maximum temperature dropped by around 6 degrees in Cinebench. So yeah, definitely worth doing since you're not only getting better performance, but also lower overall system temperatures.